Booga booga. Hello, huge movie fanatic Nate coming at you for another trailer review. This time I'm coming at you to review the trailer for Kong. I think it's called Kong Skull Island. Is that correct? If that's wrong, then the correct title is in the, in the title of this video. But I think it's called Kong Skull Island. I think. From the producers, like this is a good thing, of Godzilla. 2000, was it 14? I think it was 2014. Obviously, what they're probably going to end up doing, you know, obviously the same outfit, you know, doing Kong that did Godzilla, is they're probably going to do, they do the Godzilla movie, and then they'll do a Kong movie, and then they'll have Kong versus Godzilla. Holy shit. Anyway, being a, uh, you know, a fan of the original King Kong movie from 2006 or 5, I'm just kidding. No, I'm a big fan of King Kong. I think King Kong 1933 is just one of the, basically one of the first big, amazing, slam-bang, like, visual effects movies ever. I'm just a huge, ever since I was a kid, I've just been a huge fan of 1933 King Kong and obviously kind of grew up a little bit. I didn't see the 76 one, you know, very often, but there's, I, there's a weak spot in my heart for 76 Kong just from a lame-ass Godzilla-esque kind of a, you know, man-in-suits lame-ass aspect, and Jessica Lange's pretty hot in that movie, and stuff like that. And obviously, you know, eventually I gotta, I should really review all three of the King Kong movies, like the original, the second, or the first remake, and the second one. Um, but anyway, I'm here to talk about this particular trailer and this particular movie. This kind of, I think I got word of this, you know, that they were doing this months ago and then I forgot all about it and all of a sudden a couple days ago or whatever the trailer popped up for Kong Skull Island from the producers of the horrible Godzilla movie that came out a couple years ago. And uh, so I watched the trailer and it's just like, I'm not too keen, you know, as I said in my Hateful Eight review, I'm kind of Samuel L. Jackson out at this point. I mean, he can just retire, or, you know, for all I care at this point. I mean, I'm really Samuel... That's that's all it boils down to. I'm just Samuel L. Jackson out. And to see him in the trailer is just kind of like, uh, John Goodman, I, I like John Goodman, so I'm glad he's in the trailer. It kind of looks like he's almost playing a... Well, I can't remember the, the character's name from the original guy with the camera, but uh, Denim, was it Carl Denim? It seems like he's playing the same kind of you know, Carl Denham part, maybe it is even Carl, who knows, but uh, obviously straight off the bat one thing I wasn't keen on, like so many of these summer blockbuster movies, well this one's I think coming out in March or April next year or whatever, but like so many of these big adventure movies, it's, you know, big whatever event movies, it's like the military is always, you know, favorably, you know, shown as, you know, kind of like propaganda for military and all this shit, and Shown in these movies, like, how much we need military in the world, and uh, that's just a side note, but it's just one thing that's really cool about the trailer that I was really impressed with, very kind of creative, really, is there's a shot of, like, the helicopters going like this, you know, they're really small, and then one of the, what we think is a helicopter, ends up being like a, what are they called? Dragonfly that ends up landing on a, you know, a stick like a branch in the foreground. That was really kind of a cool little thing, and probably the best thing about the movie. Um... That was really a cool little thing, just a little cool little detail. It turns out that the, my favorite person from the movie Trainwreck is in this movie. I think it's that woman that played the younger sister in Trainwreck, who I thought was the best, you know, performer in that movie. Um, like so many of the comments, or someone's commented on the, you know, website or whatever, saying, and I agree with. I mean, it looks like the, you know, the color tint shit is just like. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, and it looks like they're doing that colored tin crap, and that just looks like crap. And um, so, well, I was joking to myself. I was like, I was making myself laugh by saying, you know, <laughs> because this is from the producers of the, you know, hor horrendous, in my opinion, horrendous 2014 Godzilla movie. So I was making a joke to myself earlier today that, you know, what we see of Kong in this trailer is probably all that we'll see of Kong in the whole movie because of how little Godzilla is actually in that movie. So I was like, ha ha, what do you think, Nate? And I'm like, yeah, that's funny, Nate. So, um, you know, I guess it's not, I'm not as underwhelmed as I was with the Blair Witch trailer because this is more of a slam bang, whatever, uh, kind of movie. I just hope that because it's in the hands of them people who did Godzilla two years ago that, you know, we'll actually get to see Kong do shit versus just keeping him in the shrouds and looks like he maybe threw up, uh, 
uh, palm tree at that one helicopter or something. <laughs> I could see this whole movie just being like palm trees and shit being thrown at helicopters and we never get a good look at Kong. But, you know, being a King Kong fan, particularly of the original 33 movie and, you know, somewhat of the, you know, way overly long, uh, whatever, Peter Jackson movie, you know, I'm, I'll definitely see this probably for five dollars at a matinee or whatever, but this is kind of a long way off now. It's like towards the end of winter, you know, so it's quite a ways away, but <sighs> yeah, that's my, that's my take on this original, or this, or this, this first trailer for the movie Kong. Is it Kong Skull Island? I kind of like that title, you know, just Kong. Skull Island. You really can't call it Skull Island without the word Kong. So, you know, Kong. Skull Island. So, whatever. Obviously, this movie is taking place in modern day versus taking place in 33 or whatever. So, which is whatever. I mean, obviously, if he's going to fight Godzilla, he's kind of got to take place now or whatever. So, um, I like big, you know, monster movies or whatever. So, I'm Obviously, because it's the same you know, the same outfit that did the Godzilla movie, I'm not expecting much, you know. Like with Godzilla, I kind of foolishly expected something because I didn't know it was gonna. Anyway, so in particular, also because I like you know the jungle island atmosphere and stuff. So I, you know, I, you know, I'm hoping this will be something. I'm, I don't know. What do you think of this trailer? What do you think of King? What do you think of this trailer and the whole idea of this particular movie, Kong, Skull Island? Are you a fan of King Kong in general? Or could you not give a rat's ass about King Kong? Um, if if not, I don't know why you're here. But whatever. Feel free to you know stop by in the comments and say what you think about this uh, movie. What you think about the trailer? Um, like I say, being so far off now, I mean. Shoot, you know, it's almost seems pointless to even talk about it, but, you know, cut Samuel L. Jackson out of this movie and it'll be fine. But once again, you know, the whole military aspect is kind of annoying, obviously, like the first one, or the Godzilla movie was also like that. Well, Godzilla, I mean, military is in every fucking Godzilla movie, even the Japanese one, so, whatever. So there you go, that's my review of Kong Skull Island. Not too keen on all the goofy color timing, correction, whatever you want to call it, grading, we'll call it color grading stuff, not a big fan of that, but whatever, teach his own, so until the next time, thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time.